This video is how to program the quadratic equation into your calculator. So here's our quadratic formula and we want our calculator to do the math for us. So here's how we get started. We're going to push program, scroll over to new, and we're going to create a new program. We need to name it. So you're going to find the orange letters. It's already on caps lock. So you find the green letters. That's green. Q U A D F. I always have trouble finding the F. F O R M. So I call it quad form. So different people call it different things. I like quad form. All right. So we need our program to ask us what. A, B, and C are in our quadratic equation. And so the way we do that, let's go back to how I did that. We're going to go program. Okay, you're here. That's where you are. So don't do anything. So you're going to now go program, scroll over, and you want it to prompt you. And you want it to ask you for what A, B, and C are. So you're going to go alpha A, comma, alpha b comma, see the commas here above the 7, alpha c. And you're going to enter and go down to the next line. So you can pause it to get to that spot. Now we're going to put in the highlighted part of our quadratic equation so we don't have to type that in anymore. So we want our program to do that math. So we're going to go second square root of b squared minus 4 alpha a alpha c. We're going to close our parentheses. And we're going to take that answer and we're going to store it, that's what the store is right here above the on, as d. So we're going to give it a new name so that it's easier to do. We hit enter and go down to the next line. So now, We've made this whole thing into D. So we're going to put this part here into our calculator. And when we do that, we want our calculator to display the answer. So we're going to tell it to display the answer. Program, scroll over to input, output, display. All right, so you need to do the whole top in parentheses. So it's going to be the opposite of B, negative alpha B plus alpha D. Close your parentheses. And you need to divide that whole thing by 2A. So we need to put 2A also in parentheses. And that's the first part. We're going to do that same thing because remember it's opposite B plus or minus so we need to do it again with the minus version. It's going to look exactly the same. So we're going to go program, input, output, over, display, disp, parentheses, opposite of B minus alpha D, divided by the whole thing to alpha A close our parentheses. Alright, so your program should look like this right now. So you might want to pause the video and make sure that yours looks like this. Because we are pretty much done. All we need to do is kind of a nicety is delete all the variables that we've put in so that later if we use our calculator we don't need to worry about it. So this is kind of fun. You go program alpha tan. Program alpha tan. And it should display delete variable we're going to delete variable A, program alpha tan, do that again for B, program alpha tan alpha C, program alpha tan alpha D. All right, we should be done with our program. So now we need to check it and figure out how are we going to use our program. So to get out of here, second, quit. Now how do we use our program? Push the program button 
And look, there's our quad form program that we just wrote. So we're gonna hit, you have to hit enter twice. I don't know why, it wants to select it and wants to make it run, I guess. And let's pretend that we have this equation, okay? So normally this equation would factor out to x minus three, x minus two gives you zero, and your answers would come out to three or two. And so in this case, a is one, b is negative five, and c is six. So let's enter those into our calculator. So it's asking us what a is, so we're gonna say one. It's asking us what b is, negative five. And it's asking what C is, and C is 6. And when we hit enter, voila, look at that, 3 and 2. If yours did not say that, and it said error or something like that, go back to program and edit, and look at your program and make sure it says what mine says, and you probably forgot a parentheses. Now this program won't work in your algebra class because your teacher in your algebra class wants the number that goes here under the square root. Okay, this will work in your science classes where your teacher is very happy with decimal answers. So that is how you program your calculator with the quadratic formula. Yay! We never have to do that again.